These are dramatic changes in our politics. No, the the, the teals the are eating them alive. Uh, well, it's a teal bath. And uh, I've got a feeling it's going to get worse before it gets worse. We've had more than 1.5 million Australians now fill out Vote Compass, so it gives us a really accurate picture of what the top issues were for voters. And what we know is about a quarter of Australians said climate change. Climate change simply did not feature in the policies and the platforms from the major parties, and in particular from Scott Morrison. It's like he forgot that over the last three years we were ravaged by bushfires and floods. What was the key issue? Was it climate change? Is that the, the issue that you've won tonight on? Yes, exactly. People are desperate for urgent action on climate change. They're desperate for a federal integrity commission, which the government has been running away from. And they're desperate for health and mental health care and equity. Saying, you know, you look at the values of this community. We are socially progressive. We are environmentally focused. They were not reflected in the parliament and they were not reflected in the Liberal Party who has moved to the to right. Our government wasn't listening to us. So we've changed the government. <laughs> the people of Kuyong have chosen to elect an independent as opposed to uh, re-electing a member that they've had for 12 years and who has not, in the last electoral cycle at least, reflected their values and what they want from their local member. Give us your analysis as to why we've seen this happen. Because the Liberal Party lost its centre. People who would normally be small L liberals who, or are potential swinging voters like me who sort of drift across the centre had no one to vote for. We have to learn from the results that we're seeing tonight where undoubtedly our vote has been impacted. We had a moderate member who everybody genuinely liked, but when you looked at his voting record, it was consistently, his votes were consistently cast in the same way as Barnaby Joyce. We do know that there is a place for optimism in Australian politics. Yeah. Yeah.